Alrighty, so in this episode, we're going to be of Salt and Sacrifice PlayStation 5 Beta. We're going to be uh, exploring this new area right here, Stone Hall Dungeon. We were able to open up this door after devouring two mage hearts. So we're going to be exploring this area, and we're going to be uh, taking on Varen Overin, the Vilest Hatred. Um, which is another new mage. So we're going to be exploring this new area and we're going to be doing a hunt. So we got a double whammy episode today. Very cool. This audio again is after the fact because I had to record a majority of the chunk of this um, while my son was up and about. So this is kind of just like after the fact commentary. So hopefully that doesn't bug you. If it does bug you, click off of the video. Go watch something else. No skin off my back. Um, we picked up some resources here. Looks like we're healing. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Why I'm trying to clear these enemies. Um, when I could have just went into the new area. Not sure what the thought process was here. Kill that guy with a heavy and uh, two lights. You gotta break these guys' shield and then you can kill them with two lights. Kill this bat. Those bats do a lot of damage by the way. I think I got killed like three shot by two bats. Um, and... and uh, one of the sequences. Why do what? I'm not sure why I'm exploring this area. I'm really not sure what the thought process was here. Um, I've already explored this area multiple times. I know what's around. Um, not sure what the thought process was there. Okay, Stone Hall Dungeon. Here we go. This is a new area. See, we got an archer here with impeccable aim. <laughs> uh, we got some. We got two enemies here to the left. I think I'm gonna try and get one of them to jump out. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I am. But there, he's not budging. There he goes. So I kind of baited him. We got two lights. Um, and then we kill him. We pick up some silver. There to the right, you can kind of see where the mage hunt's going to be. We got an eager minion here. Ooh, he's actually doing some good damage on me. I think my stamina was low there. And that's why that happened. Yeah, I have no stamina. Okay. Kill that guy, kill the archer, get some silver. I actually have a decent amount of silver here. Continuing to the right. Pick up some more silver from the bag. We got a minion here to the right and an archer. I'm not sure what they're technically called, but I just will be calling them minions. Kill the archer. And here I stumble upon the, uh, the mage hunt. Devour Varen Orvin. Here we go. And we are commencing the hunt here. I love how it gives you the direction of where to go. And I wanted, to, I'm kind of curious. Um, I know Scott's probably not going to watch these videos. But I had those blue uh, minions pop up quite a bit randomly. And I just was curious if it if they are random or if they're triggered or what the deal with those guys are. So we break that minion's guard and kill it. Obviously we gotta kill the archer. We're trying to do it with heavies. Nope. And I paid for that. See like those two, those two blue minions weren't there. Um, on my way through here, they just kind of spawned in, so I was just, and they do a lot of damage, 
if they get off on you. If you have no stamina and they just are able to hit you, they'll easily kill you. Take care of the archer. Go up the stairs. And back out of the mine. Here we got our first taste of Varen Orvin. Um, and he's spawning like Medusa head snakes here. So this is the poison mage. Um, shooting some little poison darts there. Kill that snake. And you see once you get poisoned it continually ticks down your damage. So I'm kind of, I'm trying to negate that with blood berries. It's not working too well. <laughs> And it ticks away forever, look, continuously taking damage here. As like, just like in a From Software game where you get poisoned or toxic or anything like that and it ticks down your health. I think I was just waiting for it to stop before I flasked because I'm trying to conserve them, but you got to do what you got to do. Okay, the archer got a shot off on me. Those archers on the ledge are tricky. We got two, and these enemies will fight each other. It's so interesting, like, where the blue enemies come from and why the regular minions fight them. Interesting. So we got a piece of silver and some wisp leaf. Five pieces of silver, actually. And here I'm just trying to be lazy and take, uh... Take Varen Orvin out here with some axes <laughs> so I can conserve uh, flasks. I'm trying to get the hunt done in one go because when you have to like restart because you've been killed, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Even though I don't think it makes you re finding him in each area, I don't think it makes you do that again. But I guess just to be safe there, or just to be lazy, I use the axes. Um, okay, I'm just getting all my equipment together, taking stuff off of the hot bar. Anytime you, well, I'm not sure if it's anytime, but a lot of the times when you pick up new stuff, it'll automatically equip to the hot bar. So a lot of the times I have to end up taking those things off. So, that's the new location. I'm not sure if this is the... No, this isn't. Okay, using the axes again. And he's spawning in... Oh, he spawned in a monster here. Long arms, long legs. Pretty intimidating, so I'm kind of just being a wussy here and running away from that thing we're going to use the obelisk thank goodness so we can get our uh, flasks back did that thing just jump <laughs> I think the monster just jumped off the top okay we're continuing on Looks like the minions are putting in some work here to get rid of uh, the mage. So the, while the things that those spawns look intimidating, you see there in like three or four hits, that thing was dead. So I mean, it definitely looks intimidating, but it's not as scary as it looks. And we have the last mage just up here, the water one. Like I said before in a different video, I'm not sure um, why the other mages that I've killed spawn in just randomly in the environment like that, but that's pretty, it gets pretty hectic and it gets pretty scary. I've actually had two of them spawn by an obelisk, so anytime like I use that obelisk, they were right there, and I was just running past them, not killing them, so it got really hectic. I should have just ran away. The, I was going to say, these frogs might kill me. I should have just ran away here, 
and not entertain that, and I think that's what I'm doing here. I don't want no smoke. I got a rest and resupply already, because those frogs were killing my flasks. And I believe it'll, yeah, so if you don't kill them and if you run away, they'll just remain where they are. Look at this, it spawned three frogs, a bubble. <laughs> it's like this turned into the uh, hunt right here. My goodness. And, oh my goodness, it's spawning the uh, steam too. That was like a whole part two of that fight. Crazy. I'm trying to kill this frog here, a couple heavies and a light, and it's out of there. That got super hectic, super quick. Um, I'm thinking about whether or not I should go to the obelisk, but I am full flasks, so I just decided to use blood berries there. Or, I'm not sure if they're called blood berries. Kill the frog there. Got two of those blue-eyed uh, monster minions that hit really hard. Just going to run away from them because I'm just trying to do the hunt at this point. I've pretty much seen all of the map, all of the areas, and I'm just trying to complete all the different mages now. This drop-down area, I don't think I've been to. So I was being cautious here. And I was thinking it was going to lead out, like, because I've never been down here. So I thought this was going to be, like, a straight go from right here. But the um, path is actually too high to jump. So you have to use the uh, grappling hook here to get up. And I missed that one. Here we go. There's another one. Exit out. And then I'm trying to, I was trying to get to that grappling hook, but it, it didn't register. We got some silver. Now it registers. I was a little confused here, to be honest, where um, this poison mage was. I thought it was going to be down in that pit. I'm going to go ahead and rest and resupply. Take the berries off. And looky here, we got the uh, blue-eyed jerks again. So I'm going to go ahead um, back into the stone hall dungeon. Kill the minion and the archer. Pretty sure we're going to avoid that blue eyed minion. And here is our buddy again. Spawning in the medusa headed snakes. Which the minions end up taking care of. You love to see. And we killed the minion and the archer. And I believe, I'm not sure, but I think this is the, no. Okay, so we're going to throw the axes here. To try and get rid of him. He's going to shoot a bunch of those poison darts at me and poison me. Which I should have just jumped down and fought him instead of trying to throw those axes. Here we go with the axes again. It's going to spawn in two of the Medusa snake heads. Which those were easy, super easy to kill. Just a heavy there, killed that one. I was leveled up here a bit though. This isn't, um, you know, base damage, base level. I, have, I am leveled up at this point. Even though I lost a lot of salt. <laughs> And here we go. Here's the actual fight with Varen Orvin, the vilest hatred. Let's see what he does in the actual fight. And so he's spawning those poison arrows. Looks like he's got a double stab. Um, I am already poisoned. 
But he's already down a lot too. His health is low, low. He's shooting a lot of those poison arrows. Um, so he's super basic compared to the other ones. Seems like all he's shooting is arrows here. Um, okay, so he's got some poison bubbles that, uh, oh, okay, that appear right in front of you and can stun, easily stun lock you to death. Okay, I'm dodging left to right, right to left, avoiding the arrows, and I finished him off there with a bunch of, with a flurry of, uh, light attacks. And that one is down. That was definitely the easiest mage. The poison mage is the easiest mage by far. Took nothing. Got all of his loot. And there you go. The hunt's done. I appreciate you guys checking out my salt and sacrifice videos. Sky Studios, thank you for giving me a beta key. I appreciate you guys. This game is amazing. I look forward to it. I think it comes out on May 10th. So if you're interested in what you see here, make sure to pick up a copy. And I'll see you guys in the next Mage Hunt. Peace.